Hey guys, I got a mystery to share with you today. Someone sent me a picture of a frame and they said, what is this? And I want to show you what it is because it took me a minute to kind of study it to figure out exactly what it is and what the solution is. I think identifying frames, especially problem frames, is kind of hard to do. Unless you're a very experienced beekeeper, some of these things that you see happening in your hive on your frames, you can just totally miss it and go right out of your head and it can be a very serious issue. So we need to look at this today and I'll walk you through what it is and the course I would take to correct it, to recover from it. The first frame picture is easy to identify. It's got a funny substance that's kind of almost liquidy but not quite. It looks more solid, it has a red color to it. This is real common. I've shown this many times on videos to help you understand what it is. And this is bee bread. It's a mixture of some enzymes that the bees use to add to a little bit of nectar, but mostly to the pollen. And this is known as bee bread. It's starting to ferment a little bit. It's very nutritious for bees and it's a food item that they create using things in the hive such as nectar and pollen and adding enzymes to it. But the second frame here in this picture, take a look at this. It really was interesting when I first looked at it. I thought, wow, it's so white. Look how white it is. And I thought, are they trying to cap over maybe some nectar? Is it wax? It looks like very, very white wax. And I thought, I'm not sure I can diagnose this. I, I have a hint of what it might be, but I need more information. So I emailed the person back and I said, the picture quality is poor. I can't zoom in. Can you send me a more close up, less pixelated image so that I can study it more carefully? And they did. And as you can see here, as we look a little closer, zoom in a little bit more, take a look at what this is. Now you might say, is it a brood disease? Well, what would be a brood disease is usually confined in the cell, like in the bottom of the cell. If you're looking at something like American fowl brood, European fowl brood, uh, sac brood, even um, things like chalk brood, they're going to be confined to the cell. Rarely does that infection or disease go out on top of the comb and cover the comb like somebody took spray paint and sprayed the comb. So it's everywhere on the outside of the comb. That's a good clue right there. Now, another clue that I want to show you about that led me to kind of my conclusion is that I thought, okay, is it crystallized honey? Sometimes crystallized honey or crystallized sugar water can actually get crystallized in the cells. But again, it rarely or hardly ever can become crystallized on the outside edges of the comb itself. So this is like all over the outside of the comb. Now, as I study the picture even more, I noticed something peculiar. Look right here at this image. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm zooming in on a still shot, but do you notice a discoloration below the white? It's sort of like a beige yellowish color. Aha, what does that tell me? It tells me that this is likely a comb that probably had, I'm thinking this yellow stain that we're seeing here is pollen. Now, what is this? I'm gonna give you a minute to uh, maybe say what you think it is. I thought about saying, leave a comment below. I'll come back and tell you what it is in the next video, but I don't wanna do, I don't wanna keep you hanging. But think about it, what is it? Maybe leave a comment below what you thought it was, you know, before I'm gonna tell you what it is. Now, this is, mildew or mold. This is white mildewish mold that happens when there's moisture in the hive and the temperature and the environment is just right for this mold to grow like this on this comb. And it's, it can come in different colors. You can see white, sometimes greenish, darkish, you know, uh, different black colors and all. Um, and I've really uh, pondered this scene a lot because I, I've seen it uh, in my own hives in the early days when I had moisture problems in my hives, especially coming out of winter. I got so frustrated that all of my comb would have this dusty mildew kind of on top of it. And I made some videos one time of taking it and putting it in a hive to see what the bees would do, putting it in a strong colony, seeing if the bees would clean it up. 
And indeed, and indeed they did. So my advice would be, uh, if you find a frame like this, it's usually in a hive that's been deserted or died or something, uh, because otherwise bees are gonna be good about cleaning it up if they have a lot of population. But in this case, this frame doesn't have bees on it. Something needs to be done to it. What can you do? I think the best thing to do is get it dry. It's this way because it's got a lot of moisture somewhere, or it's had moisture. So be sure and put it in a room, a controlled environment, where a lot of the moisture can be dried out. Now these frames of moldish mildew like this can be smelly. So keep that in mind before you slide it under your bed in your bedroom, <laughs> because it's gonna be uh, noticeably like, what's that smell? Is that your feet? <laughs> so put it somewhere where you can help it to dry out. And then you can store it and keep it until spring. Now, when you have a strong colony in the spring that's really doing quite well, but they need another frame, you can give them this one. I know it sounds terrible, but it won't hurt your bees and they will clean it up, add wax and make it all beautiful. Well, I'm gonna do more videos like this, guys, to help you understand what frame uh, you're looking at, what kind of frame problems you might encounter, and to give you an idea of whether this is good or bad and what you should do about it. One of my videos that people love to watch is me inspecting a hive where I kind of show you different ways that I do my hive inspection. This would be a real good video for you if you don't feel like you've mastered the art of inspection. Take a look at this video. I'll see you over there.